the most accomplished women's basketball player on the planet. An absolutely sweetheart of a person, too. Maya Moore. I get to follow coach. If I had the, I had the honor to play uh, for so many great coaches, but I would have had a blast playing for you, Coach Lamb. That was awesome. Um, first of all, this is really fun. Um, as you guys saw in the video, I was tired just looking at all that. I played a lot of basketball. Um, as a WNBA player, we we generally play year round because. We make our money overseas as of now, but uh, because I've uh, played so much away from Georgia, it's made me realize, man, it feels good to be back home for a little while. But um, my story actually starts in Jefferson City, Missouri, which is where I was born. Um, fortunately, tonight I've got three of the, the top folks that helped raise me for the first half of my childhood here tonight. My godparents, Reggie and Sherry, and my great aunt. Uh, Janet, a.k.a. Hamma, and um, I just am so grateful to have a foundation with those folks. Um, just raised me just strong people of faith alongside my mom who raised me as a single parent. And then in 2002, it was time to, to move. My mom, a uh, Chicago native, wanted some more opportunity for herself and, and, and for me as I was becoming better at basketball. And we ended up in Metro Atlanta. My mom did her research, and her research led uh, us to Angie Hembry at Collins Hill High School in Sewanee, Georgia. Um, and I learned a lot from that, from, from looking at my mom saying, hey, you need to have some more opportunity around you, so go be around the best. And that really does define a lot of my career. You know, I took my, my talent, my drive, the, my passion that I had to be great, and then I did my best to try to surround myself with like-minded people, with people who would push me, with people who were better than me. And it just, it got me here today. And so I just want to say thank you to Angie Hembry and as well as Tracy Tipton, who was the assistant coach and then head coach for the second half of my high school career in Sewanee, Georgia. And we, uh, we did a few things, didn't we? We, uh, we only lost four games in, in four four years of high school so that was that was a hard thing to do so thank you to you two women for uh, just just being so consistent um, between my mom my family and my coaches and and so many great role models um, just showing up every day doing the best that you can really is the it's the formula you just show up every day and as I've uh, taken some time away from the game that is actually the heart of why I've been taking time away is because I wanted to show up for some other things in life that are that are even more important than these accolades and these championships and these records. Um, and, and that's people. I wanted to show up and be present for the people. Some connected to a lot of the, the ministry passions that I have, but also some people that we don't really think about every day. And um, you find some of those people in the, in the, in the criminal justice world. And so I've, I've transitioned over the last few years into putting my presence into trying to give a voice for people who don't have a voice in our society right now. And so Win With Justice is a nonprofit I started about four years ago. And thank you, I'm, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> um, about four years ago, connected to redefining what a win is in our justice system. And the heartbeat behind Win With Justice is to, to see people, um, not just the people who you know, are easy to cheer for, but to see the people who are not as visible. And so I'm just hopeful to see where Win With Justice takes us. Uh, some of you, if you know my story, we recently um, were involved in a miraculous victory story of Jonathan Irons, my now husband, who was wrongfully convicted at the age of 16, and he just recently was exonerated a year ago. And, um, yes. Jonathan, will you will you please stand up? Please stand up, Jonathan. <laughs> yes. He is my hero, and he is the inspiration behind why I even started caring about the criminal justice world. To hear his story, to watch his fight, uh, the perseverance. This is all why we're here, right? These, these 
comeback stories, these people, the perseverance, the character. And so I just encourage you guys to keep leaning into those things of what brought us here today, whether it's on the sports field or in another area of life. But thank you so much, Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, it's so fun to just to celebrate right here back in Georgia. Um, and I, I really am grateful to be a part of this group. Um, it, it's just an honor. I'm humbled. Thank you so much.